The LPWA is sponsored by Quantum Marketing International and its many fine products. And now, direct from Don Laughlin's fabulous Riverside Resort in Laughlin, Nevada, it's Ladies Professional Wrestling. LPWA is on the air, featuring the finest female wrestlers competing in the hottest wrestling action on television. And now, your announcers at ringside, play-by-play -play with the voice of the LPWA, Killer Ken Resnick, and color analysis by America's real live hero, G.I. Joe, Sergeant Slaughter. Ken Resnick and Sergeant Slaughter, Sarge. Another sellout crowd, and no wonder the battle of the tag team title on the line. Team America, Misty Blue Sims, Heidi Lee Morgan against the Nasty Girls, and not one but two referees. Two referees, and I think it's going to finally be settled right here this week on LPWA for that tag team title. I tell you, it's going to be a wild one, absolutely no question. And what a job Commissioner Wally Carbo has done. He has certainly taken the bull by the horns, but knowing him the way we do, it's exactly what we expected. That's right. Should be a wild week indeed. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Big Mo, you're headed out to take on the beast. She's been known to try to humiliate her opponents with this five count. First off, she'll never get me in a five count. Well, what about her manager, this prima donna, if you will, Ashley Kennedy? Look, if that rich bitch wants to put her nose in the ring, I will gladly twist it off. Ladies and gentlemen, this LPWA event, one fall... Weighing in at 191 pounds, The Beast, managed by Ashley Kennedy from Palm Beach, Florida. Her opponent at 159 pounds from Venice, California, Reggie Big. I'll tell you, Sarge, this could have proved to be very interesting. First time the Beast has gone up against anyone near her size and strength. Look at the face on the Beast. Great shot by our director, Merrill Mason. Well, as you know, a few weeks back, there was a tag match between Locomotion and the Beast and her manager. That's right. And uh, Big Mo didn't get much of a chance to get in there. Now it's pretty simple. Well, Beast spent most of her time beating on Little Mo and... Ashley Kennedy spent most of her time, I think, polishing her nails. Yeah, an embarrassing little mole. Exactly. Big mole with a lot of strength, but she can't seem to pick up one of the big beasts. No, she's trying, but she doesn't have much leverage right now as the beast holds on in that headlock. Sarge, you can't help but wonder who. Beast takes Big Mo down. Now, here they come right over the road. Yeah, oh! What a slingshot off that top rope. Sorry, you can't help but wonder if you see Ashley Kennedy in the background. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at the split standing right on her hair. Jeez, watch the hair. Why someone as beautiful and the shape that Ashley Kennedy has would have the personality she does. <laughs> well, as we saw her a few weeks ago in her wrestling outfit, if you want to call it that, uh, she had a pretty shape to shape. She certainly does. Her personality, for those of us that have had the unenviable task of having to speak to her kind oh. of you crossword puzzle fans are five-letter words that kind of starts with a B. Oh. Yeah, not which. <laughs> you see uh, how the beast took Big Moe's face right across that top once again. Rope and scraped it. Oh, that had to burn her skin. That's just completely standing right on her throat. 190 pounds with the rope. Pounds of pressure. She looks a little more than 190. Oh. Hey, look at that forearm. I haven't seen uh, Big Mo manhandle like this in a while. Big Mo battles back, has a little effect. I'll say woman handle, not manhandle. Oh, but the beast comes right back, and the one forearm takes Big Mo right to the back. Completely choking away. 
Ashley Kennedy spending her time either clapping or shaking to make sure she hasn't broken a nail at ringside. Got a big smile on her face. Big smirk. Very happy. Everybody keeps saying uh, Beast is tough, but she had no competition. Well, she's got one of the biggest and the best right here. Why she does. And so far, you have to admit, it's been pretty much all Beast. Sure has. Boot right to the back of the net. I'll tell you, if anything ever happens to the Beast, I think Ashley Kennedy can try out for Wheel of Fortune. She does a good job of clapping. <laughs> Oh, she Big move. Oh, look. Oh, the beast is on the feet. Big move is coming back. She got her. Oh, she's trying to slam her. Hey, wait a minute. Look at Ashley Kennedy. Oh, we didn't see it. Ashley grabbed her feet. Oh, oh no. no. Winner, the beast. Come on, ref. Come on, ref. Oh, and the beast up getting ready to slam her. Ashley reaches back, grabs her foot. We'll return to LPWA action from Laughlin, Nevada, home of the beautiful Colorado Bell Hotel and Casino. What do you even worry about? Adrian, I got a score to settle. I don't forget, and these girls are going to take revenge for me on Miss Linda. And we're stopping nothing to get the World Tag Team titles. Ladies and gentlemen, this LPWA match, a tag team event. Weighing a combined 245 pounds from London, England, Miss Linda. And from Chicago, Illinois, Cindy Paradise. Accompanied by Exotic Adrian. And their opponents weighing in at a combined 312 pounds from Stanford, Connecticut, Black Venus. From Long Beach, California, Bad Girl. Bad, black, and beautiful, managed by Boogaloo Round. Here they are, the terrors of the LPWA, Bad, Black, and Beautiful. Boy, I'll tell you, they are so as mean as they come, and I think we'd be best to keep a watchful eye on the annex of Boogaloo Brown and Exotic Adrian in ringside. Well, no love lost there. Yeah. Well, I think uh, Adrian finally got a hold of uh, Boogaloo a few weeks back and uh, simple to score. No question about it. That doesn't Bad mean uh, Boogaloo's not going to try to answer again. Bad girl and Miss Linda cut it off. Bad girl with a full Nelson and Miss Linda. Oh, Miss Linda detected a weakening and reversed it right around. Batgirl does exactly the same. Good move. Got to ring around the full Nelson right now. Oh. Either girl or now, Batgirl takes it out and goes into an arm bar and Miss Linda. Very good move by Batgirl. You know, every once in a while, both Batgirl and Black Venus show us a great deal of time. Give us a nice move by Miss Linda. She's got a head scissors. Certainly right. You know that. Oh, here she comes. Black Venus. Black Venus comes in and about what you come to expect from Bad Black and Beautiful. Bad Girl picks Miss Linda up, goes into an airplane spin. Round and round she goes, where she'll land on the Bad Girl. Whoa. Look at Miss Linda. Oh, my God. Put the leg. Whoa, oh, almost that Bad Girl down. reverses it. Almost that oh. Girl. Great move by Miss Linda. One nice thing that I saw about uh, Linda and Donna Gadrian when they came to the ring, it's nice to be able to wear each other's clothes. <laughs> <laughs> they do that. Was that Miss Linda and Miss Adrian you said? You said that. Cindy Paradise hasn't seen any action here, but she's sure cheered up. Look here. Double teaming here. Bad girl holding Miss Linda in the corner. Referee Jesse Hernandez distracted by Exotic Adrian. Very smart team, Bad Black. They use every advantage. advantage. Use the referee to their fullest advantage. Very well trained. Great athletes. Great strength. 
tag now in the bad girl. Miss Linda needs to tag out. She's been in there quite a while. Meanwhile, bad black and beautiful. Oh, what a collision. I think they were both trying to go for a shoe place off the ropes. They both, both need to make a tag. Here comes Black Venus. Making her time. Here comes Low City. Paradise. Oh, she missed it. Drop kick she missed it. Black Venus takes full advantage. Now a headbutt. Bad, black, and beautiful. Your winners, bad girl, black Venus, baby and me. We'll be back. Hi, this is Magnificent Mimi here. Many of you have written to me wanting to purchase a collection of my photos. LPWA action will be right back when we return to Laughlin, Nevada, home of the Edgewater Resort. So, they say revenge is a dish best served cold, and it's been a little chilly around here lately. Shelly, you're 2-0. Oh. You defeated Judy Martin and Leilani Kai, both of whom were major parts of the Sheik's plot, and now next week you've got Rusty Fox in the ring. Well, I'm very glad about that. I mean, you, you wouldn't believe the horror that I went through for two years, and to come back and have someone try and take that away from me again, it's just unforgivable. You know, it's a very good point, Shelley. We forget, you know, the, the horror you lived through, and then you thought it was all behind you. Sheik orchestrates his whole plot. Rusty Fox pretends to be your friend, and boom, but... Like we say, hopefully if things go well, next week you get it on your side. What then? What are your thoughts? Can you still hope to continue wrestling? Definitely. I'd like to continue my career in the LPWA. They have been great to me. I'd like to get a partner that I can trust and maybe go after the tag team titles. And although Sue Sexton's been great to me, I'd even like a shot at her title. You know, talking about Susan Sexton, what a dramatic uh, turnaround she has exhibited lately. And I know she's been very instrumental in helping you in your wrestling career. She also has some scores to settle against the Sheik. But I don't think there's anyone that has emerged more of a crowd favorite and has surprised a lot of us very pleasantly with a great, really amateur wrestling background. And I think if you're going to stay with it, we'll be seeing a lot more of Shelley Francis in the weeks, months, and years to come here in the LPWA. Stay with us because we're coming right back. A championship match at Tag Team event with two... Referees, Eddie Sharkey and Jesse Hernandez. The opponents, weighing a combined 227 pounds from Beverly Hills, California, Nasty Cat and Nasty Linda, the Nasty Girls. Weighing a combined 260 pounds from South Glen Falls, New York, Misty Blue Sim. And from Atlantic City, New Jersey, Heidi Lee Morgan, Team America, the LPWA Tag Team Champion. Sarge, this one should prove to be very interesting. It's the main event that packed the arena. Well, we're definitely going to see a winner here once and for all. This is what the uh, Team America wanted. They wanted the match any way they could get it. Bring that down. We got the two referees from Commissioner Wally Carvel. I think we're going to see an outstanding match. The nasty girls were very upset with the stipulation that two referees were announced. And it's Misty Blue and Nasty Cat starting out the battle of two former tag team partners. The Misty Blue. On the the audience. You got the big American flag on the wall. What more could you want? The Team America. Well, it's going their way so far. And Misty Blue went for a flying hit. But she missed it, but was able to grab a headlock and still get her down. That's the experience of Misty Blue. Real throw right there. Just about put Cat right through the open WA logo. Now Linda's beat it with 
the drop kick. Takes her down by the hair. And here's a tag to Hottie Lee. And Mr. Blue just holds on. And down comes Hottie Lee on the elbow. Off the ropes and come. Hottie Lee flies right forward by Mr. Lee. She got a count of one and that was all. This is very unusual. The killer usually rubber after he's on the apron outside the ring. Oh, again on the elbow. I think Wally Carbo knowing full well what the nasty girls are capable of. Wanted both of them inside. Count of one. There'll be no delay in getting a count here with both refs in the ring. And Nasty Linda wailing away. Now, reverse chin lag and red break. Jesse Hernandez immediately checking to make sure it's not a choke. Now attack the nasty count as she comes in. Truck. Way to go. Oh, I'll tell you, Meryl Mazur right on the ball, our director. Now, Mr. Blue, of course, she doesn't want to be. Double team by Cat and Linda. Look at, look at that. They're looking for the nunchucks. They can't find them. Look at that. How did they got them? Why do, why do they, they don't know what happened to them, and we do. You bet the camera could pick up. Well, they got rid of the nunchucks. They got two referees. Here we go. What's going to happen here? Double oh, 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 oh